We're going to take a minute now to address this rumor that is going around about this anti-parasite drug for livestock, and some think it can treat COVID-19. It is serious misinformation. It is causing a big uptick in phone calls to the North Texas Poison Center and also to local feed stores. Our Nicole Nielsen with a full explanation on this. All new at 6. Call after call. Our guy feed store, this is Bryn. How may I help you? Every day. At least 50. At least 50 asking if we have any in stock. The Argyle feed store says people are searching for one thing. Ivermectin is just flying off the shelves. Online misinformation has made the anti-parasite drug Ivermectin popular as a COVID-19 treatment. It's used to combat internal parasites but requires a prescription. That's why some are turning to purchase the veterinarian version for horses, cattle and swine, despite FDA warnings that you should not take it to treat or prevent COVID-19 in any form. This is where we keep the injectable ivermectin for our customers to use on cattle and swine. As you can see, we are sold out. They've hung a sign by the product that says, Warning, do not take ivermectin for human consumption. And despite the sign, people continue to buy it for personal use. And it's not just them. We've called around and feed stores across the Metroplex are selling out. And they say it's affecting those who actually need the drug for their animals. Anel Menendez works at the North Texas Poison Center and says statewide this month alone, they received 55 calls on the drug. Last August, they had two. It's telling us that um, people are unfortunately trying anything that they read online. When taken incorrectly, there's a long list of symptoms. Nausea, vomiting. Um, now, if you start taking more, then you can start seeing some of those nasty side effects, which are going to be neurological. That's why she hopes the rumor can be squashed before more ivermectin is sold. People just need to stick to reliable resources, and if they have any doubts at all, to call us. In Argyle, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.